man, that was the worst thing you could have ever done, man. Gladys, shame on you, Gladys, for doing that. Turning now to a child caught in crossfire after a shooting in a parking lot in Lauder Hill. A nine-year-old boy was injured in the gunfire. Local 10 News reporter Joseph Ojo is live at the scene. And I know you have some new details that have just come into our newsroom about an arrest. Uh, Taranisha Jackson is uneasy. Monday morning, her nine-year-old was shot outside this fresco Mas in Lauder Hill. My son getting shot and we had to run for our life. What should have been a quick run to the grocery store inside the Lauder Hill Mall turning to a very dangerous situation. But instead, I went in and had to run for my life. And as I'm pulling my son, he said, Mom, I just got shot in the foot. He just opened up, started shooting. Witnesses tell Local 10 the shooting was all a result of a man and woman arguing over parking on the fire lane. It's hard to believe that people who come with a shopping plaza, kids are around walking with their parents. I start shooting at each other for a parking spot. A oh, number man, of shots were fired, son, man. sending shoppers running and ducking for cover. How many shots did you hear? I think about maybe four or five. That nine-year-old boy shot in the foot. I just thank God for that nurse that was there. Blood was just like everywhere. Katrina Hamilton says she was in the right place at the right time. Seeing the blood just rushing out his feet so fast. So I tie and try to wrap off and hold compression until the paramedics get here so he don't oh know. thankfully the victim wow we re we got to give props when it's due man yeah we got a unicorn here no nah, i was a nurse they said she's a nurse on the scene still oh. still like it, it's sons sons whenever they can provide first aid or life-saving measures man we got to take note of that man we got a replicator yeah man Gonna photocopy her. Now his feet so fast, so I tie and try to wrap off and hold compression until the paramedics get here, so he don't bleed out. Thankfully, the victim's injuries are minor. His mom telling us he's back home recovering. But we need to put the guns down. People, you know, they don't have any patience, <laughs> so they they got upset for any little reason. They got some crunchy sins down here, though. So what you're taking a look at right now is that suspect, Jeremy Lockhart, 53 years old, in court earlier today. He was in that white Chevy SUV that police were looking for. He is charged with possession of a weapon by a convicted felon and felony probation violation. He is being held in jail with no bond for violating his parole. Now, detectives, they are still searching for whoever was in that white Toyota Prius at the time. And it's also not clear at this time who actually fired that shot that did injure that nine-year-old boy. At this time, we are working to find out more information on this. But once we learn any more information, we'll be sure to let you know. But if you do have any information that can help police close this case, you are urged to give Lauder Hill Police a call or Broward Crime Stoppers at number 954-493-TIPS. We're here in Lauder Hill. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News. Developing tonight, shots fired at an Opelanca apartment complex. The impact of one of those bullets injuring a teenager in a nearby car. Local well, we Tester for today. We did that one yesterday, man. Um, salute to everybody out there, man. Rumble, um, YouTube, hit the like button, man. Um, continue to smash the like button. Continue to smash the like button. Another crime alert tonight, a teenage girl under arrest, accused of killing her own grandmother. And tonight we heard from the victim's son. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live in Lauderdale Lakes with the details. Terrell. And that man says that he left his home here for a few hours, leaving behind his 14-year-old daughter in the house alone with her grandmother. Something happened while he was away, and that grandma turned up dead. Inside the inside. This is cell phone video of a crime scene after detectives converged upon a condo complex where a 79-year-old woman was found dead. The female, not conscious, not breathing, CPR in progress. The victim, who was found with multiple bruises on the floor inside of this unit, died of her injuries. Evidence tape still marks the doorway of the home where we caught up with the woman's son. I understand. I understand. Okay. That man did not want to go on camera, but wanted us to share that his 79-year-old mother, Yavinia Koval, was a sweet woman who never has wow. needed to help others. After the medical examiner completed an autopsy, the death was ruled a homicide, and the woman's own granddaughter, just 14 years old, was arrested on a second-degree murder charge. She's a very good girl, as Some far as I know. 
Now, this woman says the teen was good friends with her as granddaughter, as and she saw no signs of trouble leading up to the event. It's something out of character. She's been going through a lot because she wants her mom. She wanted her mom who's in the UK. She can't get over here. The family from Ukraine was often a familiar and friendly site around this complex that sits in the 4100 block of Northwest 41st Street. The crime reported last week Thursday just after midnight and the teen's arrest that followed has certainly sent shockwaves through the neighborhood. Now she's going to be incarcerated. Where is our future? You know, and what has she done? And what was the reason that caused all of that to happen? Residents have a lot of questions, and they tell me that they were also suspicious on the night that all of this happened, primarily because they knew this 79-year-old woman to be very healthy. They would see her outside exercising at times, and even on the very day that she was found dead, she was at the swimming pool here in the community earlier in the day. We know that 14-year-old mm -hmm. girl, she is now in a juvenile detention center as prosecutors decide whether to charge her as an adult. Wow. We are live in Lauderdale Lake, some Terrell Fournay. Local 10 News, wow. this is the shocking story. Thanks a lot there, Terrell. And I yeah, at least it wasn't us. Yeah, at least it wasn't us, man. Well, tonight, Birmingham police announcing an arrest in a shooting which paralyzed a 12-year-old boy from the waist down. Joshua Brown surrendered to police last week before bonding out a few hours later. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm it's like you just got a break, and now we're back to business. Wow. He fucking paralyzed the kid and just got booked. And all right, that, yo, this just ain't right, man. Glad as I get, I get where y'all thought, like, this was not created for sons, man. It just wasn't. Well, tonight, Birmingham police announcing an arrest in a shooting which paralyzed a 12-year-old boy from the waist down. Joshua Brown surrendered to police last week before bonding out a few hours later. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm John Papke. Guy and Sherry have the night off. That shooting happened on March 22nd when Brandon Roller was outside playing with a group of friends when Brown and others started firing shots. Roller was hit trying to get away. WVTM 13's Aaron Llewellyn is live tonight. Aaron, you talked to Roller and his mother tonight. The arrest bringing more questions than answers, correct? Yeah, John, Brandon Roller's mother, Courtney Chesner, says that it's hard to know that an 18-year-old is sitting behind bars tonight after shooting her son and almost taking his life. And she says those shots that were fired changed her family's life forever, but she still can't figure out why someone would have shot her son. Justice is finally one step closer to being served for 12-year-old Brandon Roller. I didn't care. Birmingham police what? announcing an arrest in connection to a March shooting that left Roller paralyzed from the waist down. It took too long, and I still can't walk, so it doesn't affect me. Roller. Wow. Wow. That's some sad shit, man. He gave up, some... man. Young man yeah. gave up. That's crazy, man. Kill your people, man. Damn, mm. He sound like he ready. He sound like he ready to do a drill. Got clean he cut like, though. Think about it. He twelve. He, he he's playing with his friends and got dreams and aspirations, whatever they may be. And boom, he can't. Boom, he can't walk. Justice is finally one step closer to being served for 12-year-old Brandon Roller. I didn't care. Birmingham police announcing an arrest in connection to a March shooting that left Roller paralyzed from the waist down. It took too long, and I still can't walk, so it doesn't affect me. Roller's mother, Courtney Chesner, says it's hard to see another child face the consequences for almost taking her son's life. I don't want vengeance, you know what I'm saying? I just... He's not going to be able to do a lot of things. And oh, Lord. the fact that he was able we, to. We're people. stupid. Yo. We're crazy if a shit. glider would have done that, Man. that bitch would have went crazy. If a glider would have called her, would have said her son, like, was, was, wasn't as smart as a white kid, she would have fucking been crying all over the fucking internet. Real tears. Genuine tears. Life. I don't want vengeance. You know what I'm saying? I just, he's not going to be able to do a lot of things. And the fact that he was able to bind out just like that, 
pick up moves as they please. They can all do as they please. And they don't realize what they did to my family. She believes there were multiple shooters who are responsible for changing her family's lives forever. I'm not supposed to feel bad, but I feel some type of way because they're children, you know what I'm saying? The consequences have to be done. I just wish that he didn't buy on the same day. And she hopes more arrests will come to hold each person accountable. I don't want no harm on no kids, but at the same time, I feel like it could have been man, what the fuck? more arrests. Yeah, the fuck is she talking about, man? She like quadrupling down, like, I don't want nothing to happen. <laughs> I know he so shot my kid, but you know, the kids. People are, uh, they're just weird. Like, this is weird. This is some weird old shit. Besides, that one child because it was about 10 of them, five, 10 of them. And um, they had multiple guns. So, her and her family can get answers to their questions and continue their journey to heal. I want to hear, I'm sorry. I don't want. Facebook to have their narratives. I don't want the police to have their narratives. I don't oh want my people God. People in the world to have their oh narratives. I want to know they're sorry. What, what the fuck do the cops got to do with any of them? Right. The cops wow. are chilling. The cops that have their narratives. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's Yo, I was sick. Yo, I would hate my mom if this, like, the interview she gave after I got shot. First, you don't want my killer to. You don't want nothing to happen to the to, not my killer to my uh to the nigga that shot me, and now you fucking talking about you don't want a narrative to be on Facebook. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Black people still annoying as shit, man. This is crazy. Yeah, very annoying. She's and she look at they laughing and smiling. If if a white hill dude had did this, they would be standing at a podium with twenty civil rights lawyers and neighborhood community activists with them. And she'd be sniffling and falling out and all types of shit if a white dude had did this. Well, in the world to have that narrative, dumb, I don't want to know. They're sorry. But until then, <laughs> Chesner and her family are moving I'm forward. Giggling and this shit. Being the glue that holds them together. He is our strength in this household. The way he move around and talks to us, he's our strength in here. Everybody be sad. He has his sad days, but when we say it, he get us together. He's my strength. He's their strength. For real. Now, now, earlier tonight, when I talked to Roller, he tells me that he's going to be starting a new school in the fall. He'll even be in the band where he's going to play trumpet. And this summer, he's going to start playing wheelchair basketball where he's excited to start traveling Man. with his team. Lobby. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> It's not funny, but it's sad. It's sad, man. That's one thing I give some people. We know how to change lives. I'm telling you, man. Shit. Fuck. The savages, man. Savages. That boy's paralyzed at 12 years old. Life will never be the same. The city police say four teens were arrested for assaulting and robbing a 14-year-old girl downtown on Friday. Now, one day later, a 15-year-old and 17-year-old were shot in West Baltimore 